For more, Stacey Lee joins me now from Baltimore. She's a professor of practice at Johns Hopkins University. Stacey, thank you very much for your time. We heard in detail there about the latest ruling by the Supreme Court regarding the access to Mifepristone. Of course, we touched on as well the latest move by Ron DeSantis, Governor of Florida, and the ban on the six-week abortion. What do these latest developments say about where we're at in the abortion debate for now? I think it's really interesting what this signals. For one, for the pro-choice advocates, this has been a rare victory as of late. However, we're seeing a really interesting approach to restricting the right to abortion. By going after mifepristone and the FDA's approval, something that had been used for over 20 years, we see that they are taking on a regulatory approach in that they have question the authority of the FDA to approve certain drugs, which means that an individual or a certain political group could go after the authority of the FDA to pull a drug from the market. In addition, we see that the increasing number of states are introducing legislation to further roll back women's rights or access to abortion. So I think that we see what had traditionally been thought of as people going up against the federal government since the Dobbs opinion. We've seen the fight be taken to the state level and pulling in the regulatory branch as well as they look to undermine or question the authority of the FDA. Public health authorities around the world have approved mifepristone and the World Health Organization has included it as on the list of essential medicines. Now, rights groups say that anti-abortion doctors who challenged the FDA's approval of mifepristone misinterpreted or misinformed judges about its safety. Do you think that there is questionable legal reasoning to this case? No, I don't think that there is questioning or questionable legal reasoning to this case. The drug went through a robust level of review by the FDA. It has been on the market for over 20 years. It's been approved by the World Health Organization. And as opposed to the, the doctors in this case, the people who approved the drug did so after rigorous scientific testing and in direct response to a public health need. Yeah, sorry, my, my questionable legal reasoning was in response to the, uh, you know, um, anti-abortion doctors that have put forward these cases to try and pull the drugs off the market. Oh, the question of whether they have standing to bring the suit. There, there's indications to suggest that there's been misinformation in terms of the reports that have been stated in the case. Yes, that information is not accurate. And both sides have until Tuesday to really address the substance of the potentially erroneous information. And the Supreme Court will rule on that on Wednesday. All right, Stacey, really appreciate your time. Stacey Lee there for us, Professor of Practice at Johns Hopkins University. Thank you.